Even after rising to stardom on American Idol, Kelly Pickler's life has been anything but easy. In the face of abuse and many losses, she's used music for strength and guidance. With a father in and out of jail and a mother whose presence in her life was inconsistent, Kelly Pickler had to fend for herself a lot growing up. Despite these challenges, she turned her difficult memories into artistic fuel and released the track Mother's Day in 2012, a song that shines a light on her difficult upbringing. Speaking to The Boot, Pickler reflected that writing the song and filming its music video brought up a lot of difficult memories that she didn't fully appreciate the importance of as a child. The singer went on to admit that the song took her back to her first home, a small town in North Carolina where she was forced to grow up quickly. She explained, I didn't have time to study. I was too busy being a parent. When I left school, I was clocking into another job. I had other siblings that I was taking care of. I had to learn how to almost be a homemaker in a way. Pickler may not have a lot of fond memories of her hometown, but she believes her tough childhood, paired with her dreams for stardom, gave her strength. I just knew from a, a young age that I want to live on a tour bus and write songs and sing my little songs to whoever will listen. While she has gone back to visit North Carolina, she admits that seeing how little progress the troubled community she grew up in has made in the past decades troubles her. Kelly Pickler's life may seem like a dream to her many fans, but her personal reality hasn't always been glamorous. The country singer opened up to People in 2008, admitting that she went through a year-long depression after dealing with family issues and heartbreak. She recalled, Everything in my professional life seemed great, but in my personal life, I was just crumbling. I was an emotional wreck. At the time, her father was imprisoned for the second time in three years, and she was still recovering from her breakup with hockey player Jordan Tutu the previous year. To complicate matters further, her mother, from whom she had been estranged since she was very young, had unexpectedly re-entered her life. Pickler admitted she attempted to take antidepressants but had trouble with the side effects. However, the country singer found solace in writing her second record, 2008's self-titled Kelly Pickler. She also found support from fellow country singers Carrie Underwood and Taylor Swift, who played a huge part in getting her through that difficult time. She also found love with country music songwriter Kyle Jacobs at the time, whom she reflected had a profoundly positive impact on her self-image. The two went on to tie the knot in an intimate beachside ceremony in Antigua in 2011. Regardless of the challenges she's faced, Pickler was always capable of taking her hardships to pen and paper and turning her sorrows into song. The country music singer got candid about her tumultuous relationship with her father in her emotional 2012 track, The Letter to Daddy. In the song, she sings about her father's relationship with alcohol and how she felt it interfered with her ability to form a close relationship with her dad growing up. The song is part of the emotional track list from her album 100 Proof, which tells many stories from her difficult upbringing. While Pickler said she had made efforts to improve her relationship with her father, the lasting effects of her father's substance abuse still impacted both their lives. She told The Boot in 2012, he struggled his whole life with alcoholism and drug addiction, and that's something you never stop struggling with. When you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic, even if you're sober. My dad is sober today, but is he going to be tomorrow? I don't know. Despite Pickler's up-and-down relationship with her father, the singer admitted she was proud to see him sober up and go back to school. Speaking with Rolling Stone, she explained that despite his tumultuous past, she still cared deeply for him and is even grateful for the important roles that he did play in her upbringing. She even claimed that The Letter to Daddy was her favorite song on 100 Proof for that reason. Mother's Day and The Letter to Daddy aren't the only songs Pickler has written about her parents. The 2006 song, I Wonder, also shines a light on her mother's absence, featuring lyrics about how Pickler was unsure of her mother's whereabouts or if she'd even be able to recognize her own daughter now that she's grown. While Pickler was mainly raised by her grandparents, she shared with Us Weekly that her mother, Cynthia Malone, had physically abused her before walking out of her life. Pickler told the outlet that, as a child, she hated living under her mother's roof so much that she told her she'd rather be dead. Cynthia, in response, took out a knife and effectively dared her child to end her own life. When Pickler was slated to perform at the 2007 Country Music Awards, Cynthia spoke out about their estranged relationship with Fox News. She explained that her ex-husband, Clyde, had physically abused her while she was pregnant with Kelly and that she had deep regrets about her relationship with her daughter. What was the worst thing that happened, the worst that you felt? Leaving my baby. After a relationship filled with lifelong complications, Pickler lost her father unexpectedly in 2019 at the age of 54. Though details about his death have not been released, Country Thing Daily alleged that he suffered a serious heart attack. 
The country singer had a strained relationship with her father over the years, but she always spoke highly of him throughout her career, despite his constant legal trouble. She even brought Clyde as her guest to the 2010 Country Music Awards. While speaking as a guest on The View, Pickler reflected, "...he spent a lot of time teaching me how to fend for myself. I know how to survive and make something from nothing, and he taught me how to do that." In addition to her song, The Letter to Daddy, Pickler opened up about the lessons she learned from Clyde in another song, Tough. In the song, she seemingly references her hard knocks upbringing with the lyrics, "...found out real fast, life is a game. You're out real quick if you don't know how to play, tough." It seems that she continues to take those lessons to heart, as the loss of her father certainly wasn't the last hardship she's had to persevere through in the past few years. Having been raised by her grandparents, Pickler considered her grandmother, Faye, to be the mother she never had. Sadly, Pickler's time with her grandmother was cut short in 2002 when Faye died of lung cancer. The singer told ABC News, "...my grandmother, Faye Pickler, she's the one that raised me and the woman I called mom. She was diagnosed with lung cancer back in January 2002, and she died the very next day." Pickler went on to add that her grandmother had been a smoker and was born into a generation unaware of its long-term effects. Faye was just 66 years old at the time of her death. The singer reflected in a press release that losing such an important figure in her life was one of the most difficult things she's ever experienced. The artist honored Faye by tattooing her name on her foot and dedicating the song My Angel to her beloved maternal figure. In the song's lyrics, Pickler expresses the gratitude she feels for the immense love and support her grandmother provided her throughout her life. I could only hope to be half the woman she was, so um, this is all for Grandma Faye. Kelly Pickler experienced a terrible tragedy yet again when her husband, Kyle Jacobs, died in February 2023. According to the police report obtained by People, the singer told authorities she woke up and couldn't find Jacobs. She called the police after she and her assistant discovered a room in her home was locked. The autopsy reports later revealed that Jacobs, who was 49 at the time, died by suicide. Though he didn't have any drugs in his system at the time of his death, toxicology reports stated that he had a history of physical and mental health issues and drank alcohol regularly. Pickler remained quiet for months after the shocking news, until finally making a statement to People, saying, "...one of the most beautiful lessons my husband taught me was in a moment of a crisis. If you don't know what to do, do nothing. Just be still. I have chosen to heed his advice." The Feeling Tonight singer went on to thank her fans and admirers for their outpouring of support during such an incredibly difficult time. She also revealed that she was planning an intimate memorial service for her late husband, set for the fall of 2023. The Daily Mail reports that the grief caused by the loss was so intense that Pickler was unable to stay in her Nashville home while she recovered. After her husband's tragic passing, Pickler decided to take a step away from the spotlight. After going quiet for months, an insider confirmed to Radar Online that Pickler was still in a lot of pain following her shocking loss. Considering the immense grief losing a loved one can cause, it's unsurprising that Pickler has opted to take some time away from her career at this dark time. Shortly after the news of Jacobs' suicide broke, the singer left her position as the midday on-air host of Sirius XM's The Highway Radio Show. She joined the show the previous February and worked as an on-air personality for over a year before making her exit in April 2023. In addition to her radio hosting position, Pickler also reportedly decided to cancel her plans to go on tour while grieving for Jacobs. An insider told Radar Online, "...now Kelly's cleared her schedule. Kelly wants time to heal and be alone with her thoughts. Her loved ones tell her she's doing the right thing. She needs to concentrate on herself, not her career." If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues or thoughts related to suicide, please visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357. Help is available by calling or texting 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.